Welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, that was pretty great. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this clone glitch effect, and that's all done within Premiere Pro. I was working on a music video and I thought I'd experiment, and it turned out pretty sweet, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So once you've got your clip and you've got the part that you want, make sure it's an easy clip to key out because your subject wants to be kind of static or not much movement going on, just because it's easier to key out and the effect's going to be so much more smoother. Second of all, you're going to key out your subject, which in my sense is the artist. So I'm going to do that now. Now once this is done, I'm going to duplicate the clips to about five to six times. Then what I'm going to do is move the frames forward by five. And what I'm going to do here is make sure the clone is coming out of his body. So it's like a little glitch effect. So in order to do this, I just keyframe from where I want it to start. Go forward again another three times and keyframe it outwards a little bit. Just so you can see half the body or the part that you've keyed out. And you're going to continue doing this till you've got about five clones in the frame. And then when you get to the last clone, you're going to keyframe them all, just so they stay there for about a second or two. And then you're going to do the opposite, and you're going to bring them all back into the main object, which is the person that you keyed out to start with. It's a pretty easy effect, but it's very, very cool if it's done right. Like I said, it's better if the static's not moving too much, just because the keying's going to be so much more accurate. But that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both of those places are popping, and I'll see you guys next time.